Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, I am being joined by... Oh, what's that? Wait, stay still, Lee. I'm being joined by... Uh, is, that, is that your hand? It's a bit of a weird-shaped hand. And uh, your bow as well. <laughs> you can come through now, Lee. You can come through. Welcome to the video. Good morning. Why are you shooting an arrow at me? Why, are you, why do you have to come through pointing an arrow at me? Now you're getting your sword out. You're terrifying me. Imagine you woke up from bed and a man came in aiming an arrow at you, then got out a sword. It'd be terrifying. There we go. Holding a cake. That is much more like it. How, giving me my breakfast. <gasps> Nom 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 nom. That is jolly good. One of these days, Lee, I'm gonna come upstairs to you in your little hidden bedroom up there, and I'm gonna bring you a cake for breakfast, just for a change, just for a a, a nice treat for you to say thank you. And I almost forgot. I am also being joined by royalty. Everybody bow because King Finball is entering the room. Hello, Finball. Uh, welcome back to one of my videos. How are you doing today? You doing good? Yay! Jumping up and down and excited uh, in excitement. He's enthusiastic. Uh, he's enthusiastic because we're about uh, to spend a day's building. And I'm going to explain uh, what it is we're going to be doing in this video in just one moment. Uh, but first, I'm going to be heading over to my love garden uh, to give someone a shout out. And uh, today I am adding Wee Wee Gaming. Uh, who is another YouTuber uh, who uh, about pretty about two weeks ago uh, sent me a video of a um, a note block song he made within Minecraft uh, playing the Nino Kuni theme tune and uh, he made it just for me to celebrate uh, me getting 400,000 subscribers and the video is amazing the redstone he used is crazy and I have no idea how he managed to do it and uh, yeah so for that reason uh, I want to say a big thank you to Wee Wee Gaming and welcome to my love garden. Uh, anyway, let's go. <laughs> I think Finball approves, don't you? <laughs> and there's also going to be uh, a link to that video in the description, by the way, if you want to go and uh, see it for yourself. And I do definitely recommend it. Uh, yeah, definitely go and uh, check it out. And he's also... Uh, offered uh, to come into my world and build uh, a note block song in my world. So uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. And uh, maybe when I do eventually build my circus, I can have like some circus music or something. But I don't know. Uh, that's definitely something that I'm going to do in the future. And yeah, hopefully he'll be able to teach me how to do that. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go pick a dog, shall we? Which dog do you reckon, Lee? Uh, do you want to you recommend a dog for me? Uh, who, who takes your fancy for this video? Who do you think uh, is going to be good uh, for accompanying us uh, building what it is we're going to be building? Building. I think he's going for who is this Duncan he's gonna take Duncan and Duncan uh, is the one with the uh, the crooked neck down here that's the way you can tell it's Duncan oh look he's fixed it oh no I'm never gonna know which one's Duncan anymore and what, what are you Finball are you a bunny rabbit <laughs> your um your ears seem to be slightly protruding through your uh, helmet there Finball you're not tricking anyone get out of that costume <laughs> I think the dogs were going for him then I think they thought he was a real rodent <laughs> uh, anyway uh, what we're building today is basically finishing uh, Water Rush, uh, which is the uh, the mini game that I've been building for a few videos now, and I've not got it finished yet, uh, but we're almost done. I have done all of the redstone, which I'm sure uh, you're going to be very happy to hear about, because uh, yeah, you don't have to sit through me doing that. Uh, but what I am going to be doing in this video is building a Japanese style garden, uh, which is going to be in front of the, uh, the, uh, the sushi restaurant. And so yeah, I'm going to head over there now, and uh, something else that we got to build is a big pool of water, uh, which is going to be in front of the ride. Uh, basically so when you get knocked off, you don't just land on the hard ground underneath. You've got, uh, yeah, a nice pool of water to land in just because uh, health and safety have been on my back because uh, they've been saying that my rides are too dangerous. So, uh, yeah, I'm adding a safety pool of water. So when you fall off, uh, yeah, you're less likely to, to break your legs and going to have uh, a bit more of a, a softer landing. So, yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And hopefully... Uh, assuming we're going to get all of that done, uh, we can have the first ever game of Water Rush. And so all I'm going to do uh, at first is show you uh, how the redstone worked. And the redstone is very, very simple. It might look a bit complicated at first, but I'm sure every single person watching this video could do this redstone if they wanted to. So I'm not going to spend too long explaining it because I don't want to bore you. But uh, yeah, I want to hopefully show you uh, what I did and uh, how you could do it yourself if you want to build uh, a game like something similar to this. All the same, uh, please do feel free just to copy and steal any ideas I come up with. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's Minecraft. You can build whatever you want. So I have no worries uh, if this... Uh, uh, ride does pop up in a lot of other people's worlds. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is what the uh, the place looked like finished. Uh, I probably should have shown you uh, what the sushi looked like from the uh, the sushi restaurant looked like from the outside. But uh, basically, I would be sitting up here uh, as the shark 
and then everyone else would be down there, as you can see, dressing up as dolphins. And basically, yeah, we could have a quick demonstration here, Lee. So as he runs across there, I would press that button, which makes some water go and drop out. As, as he's running, he's going to be trying to get through all of the water. And if you press it uh, just as they're going past, um, that makes it so like they sort of get knocked into the water. And there we go. Look, I managed to get Fimble. I managed to knock Fimble down. <laughs> and then the second rope, uh, if I press that button, uh, it makes a, a whole load of pistons go and push out. There we go. Just like that. Just how I managed to knock down Lee. So basically, they're all going to be running to try and get up to the top. And I'm going to be pressing the buttons uh, to try and go and knock them back down. Can I get him? Oh, there we go. I managed to knock Fimble down. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I could do this all day. Right, Lee, you're up. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, I think I pressed it too late. There's quite a big delay. Uh, which makes it a lot harder right this is the last one if i press this button arrows will get fired out from those dispensers can i get him can i get him oh that was close that was close he managed to get to the end okay lee do you want to pull the lever so when lee gets to the end uh, he would pull down that lever there and poor sharky over here would go and get dunked into the sushi restaurant so that is pretty much uh, how the game is gonna work um yeah i'm kind of happy with how it's uh, how it's turned out uh, so all we need to do now uh, is that a pool of water here uh, so when you fall down you don't get too hurt and then just sort of decorate the area maybe come up with some sort of cue or something uh, but before I do that uh, I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to show you a behind the scenes look uh, at how all of this works so it might seem complicated it might seem like something that you won't be able to do but I promise you it is so so simple so all I've got is I've got the three buttons up there and coming down, there's just a trail of redstone. And if you want a uh, quite compact redstone, uh, you can use like redstone and torches like this. So it's basically redstone on top of all of these blocks uh, with a torch on the side. And that basically guides the trail of redstone down. And you don't need to do that. You could do just a, a normal trail of redstone going down. But uh, I tried to make it as compact as possible. And uh, something else that I did... And I colour coded it, so each different trail of redstone is all the same colour. Uh, that way you're less likely to get all confused and uh, mix them all up so the wrong button does the uh, the wrong thing. Uh, so yeah, the redstone goes all the way down here. And the pink tower, uh, that is just going to the, the chair. And there's just a, a piston up there. So when he pulls the lever, uh, that basically just uh, um, does the uh, pulls the piston back, uh, which makes them dunk down. So uh, the redstone goes all the way down here. I had to go quite deep uh, just because uh, we're currently under a lake. And uh, yeah, every time I broke a block, all of the, uh, the water would come down and ruin my redstone. So uh, basically carries along. Uh, the redstone keeps going. Uh, you need to add a, a repeater every now and then just so the uh, the signal gets stronger. And then it goes to the end and just goes straight up there. So if I go and uh, hop up this little temporary staircase, uh, i show you what it looks like on this side. So yeah, basically these uh, torches send the redstone signal up. And uh, there's a whole load of uh, pistons and dispensers, uh, which is basically the... Um, uh, the things that pushes them off. Uh, so at the bottom, uh, these dispensers all just have a water bucket in, uh, so you can turn them on and off, and that's what pushes out the water. And then the uh, the second row uh, is all just the uh, the pistons, and it basically uh, just pushes a block out, which uh, knocks them off, which I think is my favourite one. It's quite funny seeing them getting uh, knocked off. And uh, at the top up there, uh, there is the, uh, the dispensers that fire arrows, and that's literally all there is to it. And then on this side, uh, that's where the lever is that dunks them, so the trail just goes uh, all the way down there, and uh, yeah, carries on going the, the other side. So uh, yeah, I think it all works pretty well. And there's there's a sign up there. What is that? What does that sign say? I think Lee's trying to get my attention to something. Right, let me just uh, climb up here quickly and uh, see what that says there. Uh, Lee did all this. <laughs> Lee, come on, be honest. Did you do all the redstone? <laughs> oh dear. I did do the redstone myself but uh, it's always good to have Lee there he can sort of help me out a lot as I'm trying to work all this stuff out so yeah as I said it is honestly really simple it's just one trail of redstone from the button uh, over to what's going to be setting it all off but anyway uh, that's enough showing you behind the scenes uh, let's try and finish this ride off then shall we so uh, yeah it looks like Finball's doing a good job uh, here starting to do the uh, the pit for where the water's going to be and uh, it's going to be a bit difficult because there's kind of a lake underneath anyway uh, which you might think might make it easier Easier, but to be honest it's probably going to make it uh, a little bit more awkward as we're trying to build it and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a um a dark blue outline around the outside here and then if we dig down to make the pit and then the way you make like a, a pool of water is if you do like a roof on it and then you place water on the roof uh, when you get rid of it 
Uh, it will all kind of just uh, still stay there, the water. So if I just do a uh, blue around the outside here, and then we dig down, I say three blocks down. I think you could probably do two, but yeah, I want to make sure that people don't get hurt as they dropped off. You know, I want people uh, to have fun when they're riding on my rides. I don't want them to be getting hurt. And yeah, it might be a little bit more awkward because of all the um, the water that's already here. I don't know, maybe we could use it. Maybe uh, we can make it work for ourselves. So I just need to keep digging all of this down here, and then we're going to place blue uh, wool all the way around the, um, the outside here basically just so all on the inside it looks blue as well because otherwise there's all going to be bits of dirt and bits of sand it's all gonna look ugly and no no not to the redstone not into the redstone no i think i've just poured water the whole way inside there this is what i had to deal with this is what i was doing when i was placing all of the redstone oh no Oh, no. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is if we build this whole pool of water here and then just before we go and try and play the game to have the uh, the proper tester, I'm going to go back down and try and rebuild any of the redstone that's got destroyed. <laughs> anyway, while my Minecraft helpers uh, carry on doing that, uh, I might go and do a quick start on the, uh, the Japanese style garden. So uh, if you want to do a Japanese style garden, actually what I'm going to very quickly do is go and uh, replace the, uh, the wall from my sushi restaurant. Uh, actually, I haven't actually properly showed you the sushi restaurant. Um, it's pretty much how it was in the last episode. All we did is add a, a roof to it, uh, which is a uh, pretty simple It's just like a few poles and then uh, the same sort of stone brick roof at the top So uh, yeah, if you want to build uh, the sushi restaurant basically uh, do it like this But come up with your own styles as well. You don't have to do it uh, the way I did it I mean, I don't always know best I kind of just keep building and changing things and trying to work things out until uh, it looks like something that I'm happy with uh, Anyway, let's go and start uh, trying to build the Japanese garden So I'm gonna have a path uh, leading all the way over from here uh, which will be like the uh, the queue leading to it. So I can have a path from, I think I'll start it about uh, here, I think. And then I'm going to have a little pond and I'm going to have some sugar cane around the pond and uh, maybe some lily pads in it and stuff. And then I'm going to do some cherry blossom trees, which are the uh, the, the trees of all of the, uh, the pink flowers that uh, you so often see uh, like in uh, Japanese films or if you've been to Japan or live in Japan, uh, then yeah, that, that's kind of how they look. And if there is any uh, people from Japan watching this video right now and uh, you want to give any suggestions for how uh, sushi restaurants do actually look like in Japan rather than uh, my uh, opinion of them and how they are in England, then uh, yeah, please do leave suggestions and I can change it. Actually, what I might do rather than doing uh, a straight path I might sort of alternate and uh, maybe do just a, a few like gravel bits every now and then you know kind of a bit more like uh, stepping stones might look a bit better if I do two dirt blocks and then gravel the whole way along and then yeah do a few of my uh, cherry blossom trees and uh, the way I'm going to do them is just by using pink wool uh, I'm not actually going to use any real trees I'm just going to go and um Oh yeah, I'm just going to go and uh, plonk down some some like tree trunks uh, by just using some oak blocks and then uh, I'm going to go and just build like a fake tree on top of them and uh, they do look pretty awesome. I've seen other people doing them in their world which is uh, where I got the idea and they do look uh, pretty cool. So I think here is where I'm going to do my, my little mini pond. So it doesn't have to be anywhere near as deep as that over there. So I'm just going to do like a, a random uh, splodge shape somewhere around here. Something like this and this is going to be uh, my nice little pond and I might do like a few stepping stones or like a little mini bridge going over it that I think could look quite nice because like I know this is just part of the ride and it's not actually supposed to be a sushi restaurant but I think just uh, having it all in the the style of what it's supposed to be should look quite cool and oh look I managed to get some iron down there I'm gonna steal that I can maybe make some replacement uh, boots a little bit later on and hello zombie what are you trying to do I remember when I first got the game I was so terrified of all of the googies. Like, I would see a zombie and I would just run for a mile. Now I don't really care. Now I could just sort of stand here and he could try and hit me. And I'm not even worried about it. Not even worried about it. Go on, go on. Go on, Duncan. Take him out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> ah, dear. If there's one thing we've learned from playing Minecraft, is zombies, they're really not that bad. I creep on the other hand, yeah, I still run for the hills and scream and wave my arms in the air when I see one of them because, yeah, creepers do still absolutely terrify me. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to uh, have this pond too deep. Uh, all I'm going to do is get rid of all of the, uh, the stone and stuff here and just put uh, dirt underneath and uh, then fill it full of water because it doesn't need to be too deep. So I'm going to put uh, dirt along here as well. And are you helping, Duncan? Are you going to help us build the uh, the sushi restaurant? Are you going to help us build the garden? No, I think I think he's just happy to be here. I can't remember the last time I took him with me, to be fair. Like, I always feel a bit unfair for some of the dogs. You know, whenever I go and pick the dogs, I always kind of decide last minute and I often end up uh, taking the same dogs over and over again. So I always get uh, a bit sad. Like, I remember I used to, when I first got all of the dogs, like, take all of them with me and yeah, you can imagine how that would be when I'm trying to build something like this and there's like 15 dogs all running around my hills and getting in the way and stuff. 
<laughs> that would probably explain why uh, when I first got the dogs, so many of them would sadly die when I was trying to take them out because, yeah, it's hard to control a full pack of dogs. Sometimes uh, it's harder enough just to, just to control one dog like this. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to do a infinite water source here. And then, yeah, we can go and uh, use it to fill in both my little pond and uh, their pool there. And then once I built a few cherry blossom trees, uh, we can go and have the uh, the first tester game of Water Rush. Or Water Rush, as I suppose the, uh, the sp <laughs> you're supposed to say it because of the uh, the bad pun I came up with. <laughs> right, so I go fill this in. Does this look okay? It does look a bit of like a... Of a, of a random splodge, doesn't it? I think that uh, once I add a um uh, a few uh, sugar cane around the outside, and if I go and get some lily pads from somewhere, I think the uh, the whole place will look a bit nicer. And I think I've got uh, a few more buckets on me. There we go. I've got a bucket there and uh, a bucket there, so I could be able to uh, to fill it all in a, a little bit quicker. I think this will look okay. Like it doesn't need to look amazing. It just needs to look like Japanese style, just so it makes more uh, sense with the uh, the sushi restaurant. And I want the um the whole queue as well. I can have like cherry blossoms on like either side of there and. I don't I don't know what else I could do like I mean I could do a Japanese flag would be a, a pretty obvious way to make it look like a sushi restaurant but I don't know I'd like I like to be a little bit more subtle than that and look at the progress that they've made I love the way my Minecraft helpers have built that massive pool there and all I've done is this tiny little pond down here which is like nothing in comparison <laughs> anyway let's go and start trying to do some of the trees then I guess I can have one about here so if I go one two three four five I guess I don't know if I'm building this a, a little bit cl too close to the sushi restaurant restaurant and I don't really know how I'm gonna do this if I sort of go around the outside like this maybe and then one on top would that look too small uh, I think that might look a little bit too tiny if I go down here I can maybe uh, build it out like this does this look okay for a cherry blossom I kind of like that I think that does actually look pretty good if I just do a few of these around the place I can do another one uh, maybe what does this sign here say iron <laughs> Well, I don't know if someone wrote that today, if someone's after iron or not, but um, I do have some iron on me if anyone did need some. Does anyone need any iron? Anyone, anyone after iron? Uh, yeah, I, th I think Finble might- I think- oh, I think Finble wants to make some buckets or something. Anyway, there's some iron down there if you're after it. Uh, anyway, yeah, so let's go and do uh, another cherry blossom tree. Uh, I'm trying to not pick up all the iron again, although I got some of it. Yeah, if I do another one here, so I went one, two, three, four, five, I think I went last time. They don't all have to be exactly the same. I mean, uh, the good thing about trees is they all do uh, look ever so slightly different. So if I go and place one there, one there, one there, and one there. I wish all trees were as pretty as this. Like, I mean, trees do look okay, but I just wish everything was different colors like it's a bit annoying that pretty much every single plant is green i wish there was just like blue trees and yellow trees and like green trees well green trees are here already but you, you know what i mean you know what i mean just multicolored trees all over the place i think uh, the world would just look that bit nicer and oh no finball what did finball do ah oh, that is dedication he just dived straight down there and he deep, wasn't able to get back up oh no hopefully he's going to be able to uh, get back quite quickly for when we uh, when we have the uh, the test to go you see what i mean i told you health and safety has been on my back saying that all my rides are too dangerous <laughs> i was trying to build the pool to make the ride safer little did i know that people are just going to end up drowning in it <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh well, he's going to be back here soon enough and hopefully uh, in time for us to go and play the game. And yeah, because apart from that, uh, we're, we're almost finished. I got uh, maybe a few more uh, cherry blossoms all over the place and I am going to have to go uh, downstairs to see what state all of the uh, the redstone is in. Hopefully it's okay. I'm going to go and plant some of my um, my sugar cane uh, all around the outside here just to uh, just to make this look a little bit nicer. And I might, should I do a few, um, I think I will do, I think I'll get some lily pads from somewhere and I'll do uh, a few of them inside here. And uh, I might change my path actually, I'm not, I don't know, I kind of, I kind of wish it was all gravel now rather than alternating. Like I might make it uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should make it thicker or something. I think the whole place just looks a bit weird uh, because it's like half sand and half dirt. And so I might go and... Um uh, get rid of all of the uh, the sand, not now, but a little bit later, and uh, make the whole place so it's like grass. It uh, might make it all look uh, a little bit nicer, but uh, yeah, we seem to be doing okay now, so uh, I do this here, and I might add fences as well, just because this is where you go for the start of the ride. Like, I kind of need two queues, so there's going to be the queue to, to be the shark, and then the uh, the queue to be the uh, the dolphins and stuff as well, so I kind of need uh, two separate queues for that, but yeah, hopefully you got a, um, a pretty good idea of what this place is going to look like, so uh, all I'm going to do now is 
build one more cherry blossom tree just because I'm kind of enjoying building them. And then I'm going to go downstairs and try and sort out the redstone. And Finball, you've returned. Are you okay, buddy? Oh, and he's immediately getting shot by another googly. Leave him alone. He's been through a lot this video. Go leave him alone. Oh, you may have also noticed I've lost my sword. I don't know where. You know, I had my amazing enchanted sword that Lee gave me. I don't know where it's gone. I'm sorry, Lee. I, I misplaced your prison. I loved it so much as well. I just, I went to start the video the other day and I was like, wait a minute. This isn't my sword. I've only got a, a normal, boring diamond sword. And okay, diamond swords are kind of amazing anyway, but I wanted a fancy enchanting one. But the problem is... I die so regularly in these videos, I never get a high level, I'm like, I've never got much XP, so I can never enchant them very well, so, yeah, hopefully I'm gonna get a better sword again, I don't like not having my, my special fancy one, and I think uh, I've pretty much run out of pink wall, look at that, look how typical is that, I had one more block to place, and then I run out of pink wall, I think I might uh, have some more in one of these chests, maybe, oh, here we go, I got like over another stack of pink wall, jolly good, so I'm gonna place this down here, uh, I'm gonna read your sign in just one second, because I'm gonna hop downstairs, and uh, yeah, go and see if there's um yeah go and see what the uh the damage is on the redstone and hopefully i'm gonna be able to fix it right let, let, let's see what the damage is oh no oh look at this <laughs> oh that was fresh water as well oh no right i uh, think this is okay this is not okay this is most definitely not okay right everyone be careful everyone be careful to not break any blocks oh no it's happened again <laughs> Right, if you leave the pool as it is for now, Finball, I try and get this redstone working, and uh, yeah, we can try and have a little test to go, and then we then we sort out the uh, the pool a little bit later on. Right, uh, so I think this went. Um, right, there's still redstone there. I think this just links up to here. This should be okay. I think I should be able to fix this uh, easy enough. I'm just hoping I've not uh, lost too much redstone. So I think this goes to here and then oh god i've got i've got two extra repeaters i've got two repeaters from somewhere i think one's supposed to go maybe about there right that that one seems to be all linking up okay and uh, there we go i need i just need if i place that there and one more repeater there there we go i think i've fixed it I do have one spare piece of redstone though, and I'll be honest, that does worry me because I'm not sure where this is from. There we go, there we go, it all links up perfectly. Right, should we have a quick tester uh, just to make sure the redstone's working, and then we can go have a game. So, uh, if you two go and dress up as dolphins, and oh look, hi Fred, how you doing over there, buddy? Yeah, if you two dress up as dolphins, I'm gonna dress up as a shark, and we can have a test to go. Uh, I will make you one. Yay, thank you, Lee, it can be a new present. <laughs> Maybe you could get, that's what you should do, that should, that should be um my Christmas present. Tell you what, for your Christmas present, I'll give you a cake, like I said, and you can give me a new fancy sword. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right, anyway, uh, let me go and uh, change skin so I can dress up as a as a shark. So it's in the uh, Battle and Beast 2 uh, skin pack. And uh, if I go through and try and find the uh, rather scary looking shark, and I'll be the shark first, and there'll be the dolphins. And then we can have a, have a switch around, so then uh, they can be the dolphins. And uh, yeah, and um, yeah, no, sorry, then they can be the shark and I'll be the dolphin. Right, I'm going to quickly uh, patch in this little bit here, because this looks a, a bit ugly. And careful, Duncan, <laughs> living up to his name and Duncan in the water. And so yeah, hopefully uh, all the uh, the redstone's still going to be working. So uh, Lee, can you quickly hop up and um, pull the lever just so the... Um, uh, my chair will be back to the way it was. Otherwise, I'm going to go and sit down and immediately fall straight through. And I'm going to very quickly check just to make sure all the redstone's working. And so, is my chair going to be down? Yeah, my chair's still uh, down like that. So, that's the first one. Is it going to work? Is the water going to come out? There we go. The water's still working. And I'm going to try not to knock you off as you make your way up, Lee. Is the second one working? There we go. The pistons are working and the arrows. Uh, I'm going to check them in a minute so I don't knock Lee off as he's making his way up. <laughs> I also put some gates here because uh, I thought it would look better than the fences, but it's a bit annoying because uh, they open every time you press the button. So for now, I'm just going to get rid of them and I'm going to put some uh, fences back a little bit later on. Uh, so hopefully this is going to be working. Have you pulled the lever back, Lee? Oh, no, there's a problem. It's not working for something. There's got to be a problem with the redstone, right? I'm going to have to go and uh, sort that out quickly. Let me just check to see if the uh, the arrows are working again. Are they still firing? There we go. The arrows are still working. So if I uh, hop down here, oh, <laughs> that was a little bit more painful than it should have been. Uh, let's go down there. There's got to be there's got to be a gap in the redstone somewhere, uh, which is making it. Uh, not work for some reason. <laughs> it's so dangerous working with all of this water. It just destroys everything. So this goes down here, goes to there. Oh, there's a one block there. Miss, there's one bit of redstone dust. Do you, do you have any redstone on you, Lee? We just need one bit uh, placed down there. Oh, does he not have any on him? I think there might be uh, some redstone lying around in a chest around here somewhere. Oh, is there some in here? There we go. Plenty of redstone in here. Right, if I place down that 
uh, that one final bit. Uh, hopefully it's all going to be uh, working properly now. And so I'm going to just very quickly uh, skip the the actual game and nerd pole up uh, just to make sure the uh, the lever's working. Because we've got to play it. We've pretty much finished it now. We've got to have a, a quick test to go. So uh, I'll race you up there, Lee. You've got to go up legitimately. I'm going to cheat. We'll see who can get up there first. Go, 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 go. I think I'm going to win. I think I'm going to win. And I won. <laughs> right, if I pull the lever... Hopefully, I can see that going back. There we go. Now it's working. Jolly good, jolly good. Right. Okay, everyone get into positions. Everyone go to your starting point. And when I say go, you've got to race up to the top. And it's going to be the first person to pull the lever wins. Uh, but remember, if you do get knocked off, that doesn't mean game over. you just got to start again because the other person uh, might get knocked off as well again in a minute. Right. My challenge is to try and knock at least one of them off. Uh, during the game because it's actually really difficult right so I'm gonna sit in my chair on my my shark throne <laughs> I'm the only shark I've ever seen wearing iron boots it looks hilarious right let's play the game let's play the first game of water rush you can start in three two one go 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 and looks like Lee's got the early lead but I've done the water and the water's managed to slow him down but Finball's coming up just behind and Lee is definitely ahead but it could all change if he's knocked off just once I don't know I knocked Finball off I knocked Finball off with the water and Lee's about to go I think he was waiting he was being smart and he was waiting for them to go out oh he's trying to be clever oh I managed to block him in though I didn't knock him off uh, but I definitely did slow him down but Lee's at the top I need to focus on him I need to make sure he doesn't get to that level otherwise I'm gonna get dunked down quick fire the arrows. I'm going to go for rapid fire. I'm going to shoot them as quick as I can and I hit him. I hit him off. Lee got knocked down all the way back down to the bottom. This is Finball's chance to go and get me. Right, can I knock him off? Can I delay him? Oh no, he managed to get it. He managed to pull the lever. I thought that was definitely Lee's, but then he managed to knock me off. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Make sure you pull the uh, the lever back up, Finball, before you drop down to reset it. Okay, Lee, do you want to be the shark? So as uh, soon as you got dunked, do you want to go up there? And I'm going to see if I can go up and if I can... Yeah, if I'm going to be able to to be the winning dolphin. So I'm going to have to change skin now. Uh, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be a walrus rather than a, a dolphin just to just to make it look funny. <laughs> Oh, I like it with my iron boots on. It's just such a silly game seeing them all running the way they do, flapping around on their bottom fin. Okay, you ready, Finball? Uh, let's say both start behind this line here. I need to do a, a proper starting mechanism, actually. Right, we can begin in three. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I'm hungry. I'm going to have something to eat. Never play the game with an empty stomach. That's what I say. <laughs> right, start in three. Two, one, go, 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 and we are off. Go, go, go. I'm going to keep jumping in case the water comes out. Oh, no, no. Oh, it so nearly pushed me in. That so nearly managed to push me in. And look how close Finball is. This is really close. And uh, you're not allowed to punch or knock into the other players. Right, I need to be careful. This is where all the pistons are going to get extended. Please don't hit me. If I sort of start and stop, start and stop. Oh, there we go. I managed to get stuck in between two of them. And I'm, I'm on it. I'm onto, the, I'm onto the last row. Come on, I can do this. Oh, Finball got knocked off. Did you see that? Finball got knocked down to the start. If I don't. Don't get knocked off now. I'm going to win, right? I'm going to wait. Wait for a bit. Is he going to press it? I'm watching him. I'm seeing if he's going to press it. I think he's there just pressing it as fast as he can. Right, just go. Just go. Oh, that's so nearly got me. No, he's just doing proper rapid fire. Right, I've done it. I've got to the lever. I'm going to dunk him. Bye, Sharky. Bye. Bye. I can see him waving at me with his little fin. <laughs> Oh, that is amazing. Oh, sorry, Finball. Sorry. <laughs> okay, it's your go now. It's your turn to go and be the shark. If you go uh, up to the uh, the top of the sushi restaurant, uh, there's just a ladder behind it. And yeah, let's go and jump in. Woo! <laughs> it's too much fun jumping in. It's supposed to be the punishment getting knocked in, but uh, it's too much fun. Right, shall I change skin again? What shall I? What shall I be this time? Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the narwhal. So I got the the big pointy front. <laughs> and Lee's been super meat boy. That's not even slightly related to a dolphin. <laughs> oh well, it's up to you. Don't think that because you've not got a head, you're not gonna get knocked off as easily. <laughs> okay, is Finball in position? He's nearly there. If you press the far left one, uh, you'll turn the water off. And if you press it again, you're going to send it back out again. So far left is the water, middle one's the pistons, and the far right one is the arrows at the top. Okay, you ready, Lee? Are you ready to go? What are you dressed up as now? Is that like, I don't know, some sort of cheater or something? I don't even know what that is supposed to be. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. We will begin in three, two, one. 
One. Go, 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 go. Oh, I nearly just jumped straight off myself then. It's kind of hard doing it in third person. There we go. I managed to avoid all of the water on my way up. And Lee's got stuck. Lee's got stuck in the little block. Be careful not to drown, buddy. Right, go, 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 go. Gotta avoid the pistons. I think Finball was too slow. Oh, I just managed to get past them. You gotta press the buttons quite early, Finball. There's quite a lot of delay because of all the redstone. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get to the lever. And I did it. A perfect run. A perfect run by Stampy Cat. Well, Stampy Orchid or Narwhal whatever I am right now. <laughs> oh dear, it's too much fun. It's too much fun getting dunked into the, uh, the sushi restaurant as well. I love this. I love this game. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on with the garden a little bit and dress it up, make it look a bit nicer. And then in my next video, I'm going to come back with a whole load of dolphins and we can play this game again, but with a whole bunch of people. I think that would be amazing. <laughs> anyway, sorry this video went on for so long. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Well, I definitely had good fun making it. I want to say a big thank you to Finball and Lee uh, for, being, uh, for being amazing and almost finishing uh, that pool in just one video. I didn't think uh, we were going to get th this much done. Uh, so yeah, uh, as always, there's going to be a link in the description to the next part of my Let's Play, uh, which will be online very soon. So I want to thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!